Okay, let's do problem 6.57 of Sontag. We have a compressor which brings R134A from 150 kilopascal at minus 10 degrees Celsius to 1200 kilopascal at 50 degrees Celsius. So, we have a compressor. Okay, inlet, exit. Inlet state is at 150 kilopascal, 50 degrees Celsius. The exit, oh sorry, and minus 10 degrees Celsius. And the exit is at 1200 kilopascal and 50 degrees Celsius. Is the uh, it is water cooled with a heat loss estimated to be 40 kilowatts. This whole okay, let's draw it with a blue line. So there's a water line which is usually wrapped around the turbine. So this there is water going in and water going out. So the water is a is able to take a heat estimate as 40 kilowatt so the heat loss by the compressor is equal to 40 kilowatt so q dot is equal to minus 40 because it is the amount of heat lost by the system the shaft work output the work output is equal to 150 kilowatt so the work done is equal to 150 kilowatt is the work done by the system since it is positive heat lost is negative work done is positive what is the mass flow rate to the compressor so let us write down because it's a steady state steady flow process whatever mass is going in is equal to the mass going out using the first law 0 equal to q dot m plus mi dot hi minus me dot he minus w dot ok we must find out what is the mass flow because mi dot is equal to me dot we have q dot minus w dot is equal to mi m dot he minus hi thus m dot is equal to q dot minus w dot by he minus hi so our aim is to just find out what HE and HI are. Let me increase the font of EES because EES crashed for the last problem that I did. Let me change the font. Okay. This is problem 657. Steady state, steady flow, compress. Uh, okay. So m dot is equal to q dot minus w dot divided by h e minus h i where q dot is given as minus 40 w dot is given as 150 he is equal to enthalpy of R134A at the exit state which is P equal to 1200 and T equal to 50 HI is the enthalpy at R134A at P equal to 150 kilopascal and T equal to minus 10 degrees Celsius ok let's see ok we obtained something absurd the mass flow rate has come out to be negative so let's see what the problem is ok so let's take a look at the problem again so it brings R134 from an inlet state of inlet state of 150 kilopascal and minus 10 degrees celsius and Oh, so it's a, it's a work input. The work input is equal to. 
so this is not the work done by the system this is the work done on the system the compressor requires work to be done hence this is minus 150 it is losing an amount of heat equal to 40 kilowatts but it is also there is some work input the shaft work input okay i repeat it's a very silly mistake on my end but it's a shaft work input it is equal to 150 kilowatt so this is the work input so i have to change the sign of the work okay let's see okay very good the mass flux is equal to 3.416 kilo per kg per second so, so uh, this kind of mistakes can happen to anyone we should always be careful it's rather late at night so this was the work input the work done on the system is negative this sign has to be negative okay heat lost is negative work done by the system is positive work done on the system is negative okay it the it, it serves a very easy concept though because a compressor is in the end a steady state steady flow process here it is given that it is losing heat ideally it may be insulated so q will become zero for those cases okay it's a very easy problem one should always be aware of pitfalls.